everyone, it's Brianna, and today's video is going to be on the cage tour of my two new Robo Hamsters, Cheesecake and Watermelon. So Cheesecake and Watermelon live in a bin cage. It has ventilation on three sides. You can also see here that the left half of their cage is Carefresh Natural and the right half of their cage is KT Clean and Cozy. I love to use KT Clean and Cozy for my Robo Hamsters because after a few days, they just end up making the entire thing in air nest. They have all these little like tunnels and sometimes I can see them running underneath the bin or on the sides. So before I begin with this cage tour, I just do want to let you guys know that I forgot to check my hamster inventory before I got these two little guys, so there are just a couple little changes that do need to be made. So first, I'll start off on the Carefresh side of their cage. They have a few toys here. First thing you can see is they have an orange Lufachu. They also have a small Java wood ball. In front of their two toys, they have an orange ceramic leaf with some bath sand in there. And then next to that, they have a green ceramic pot. And then to the right of their green pot, they have a small hay house that I purchased from Amazon. Moving up from their hay house, here you can see they have two silent spinner wheels, and I do know that these are the smaller ones, the four inch size. Cheesecake and watermelon aren't full grown yet, so they haven't quite reached their adult size, so these wheels are still fine while they are temporary, but I will be purchasing the two six inch silent spinners for them. Then in front of their wheel, they have what's left over of an Ecotrician edible log, and this I found is just really popular among my Robo Hamsters. This was Hazel's last one, and she completely destroyed it all on her own. So I'm sure these two boys are going to destroy this within a couple of weeks Moving to the right of their blue and green silent spinners You can see they have a plastic Lixit water bottle. I am eventually going to put in a second water bottle I did have another Lixit water bottle which was in the holder over here to the left But I couldn't find it so I will be purchasing a another water bottle for them So taking a little detour from their water bottle here you can see next to their ladder they have a willow ball and inside of it I put a few treats. Once they smell the treats in here it'll encourage them to start chewing away at this and it's just a boredom breaker for them. Now going up their ladder they have a couple things here. They have two food bowls on opposite sides of their second story. This is so that way in case one of them gets a little bit protective over the food the other one can still eat. And then in between them is a half moon willow toy that I got from the Binky Bunny Shed from one of her contests a while ago. Now moving down from their second story. You can see I took their ladder out of the way. So the item closest to us is a hay hut that I just bought from PetSmart. Then behind it, right over there, you can see they have a small coconut house. And a lot of people ask me where I got it from. I believe I got it from the reptile section of PetSmart. To the right of their little coconut house is a small Heidi hut that I bought, I think, from Amazon. And then the last thing in their cage, which I won't take out for this video, which you'll soon learn why, is a willow twig tunnel to the right other Heidi house that I purchased from PetSmart the other day the back leg of their second story fell off so this is mainly there just so that it can help support their second story anyways guys here is just one quick overview with watermelon joining us thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys